Hello all, let's in continuation to what's new in 2023 release wave 2, let's talk about one simple, but uh, from my perspective, every simple change is also useful and because I'm a developer, this completely makes sense. So till the previous release, if you are using labels in your code, it was a little bit tough to understand what that label actually meant. And Microsoft have enhanced how IntelliSense kind of understand and give you detail around the labels going forward. So let's to understand this, let me open a code here. And let's assume I have these label created here. And if this is a bigger object, it's a pretty decent size object. They either are placed at the top of the object or at the bottom of the object. Now that kind of gets typical when somebody's trying to review a code and let's say if they write here a trigger and let's say on validate and if they try to write the message now somebody who's reviewing your code later if wanted to see what this means he or she either have to copy this in the past search for it in the object and understand it or the only thing that they could have done is say go to definition and then would have pointed to that place. But then that person kind of loses focus of what he was looking at. With the new enhancement on the intelligence, when somebody clicks on a label, he will be able to see the text value of that label that is assigned somewhere in that object. Now remember, if you are utilizing this in your extension, this will work as it is as it is supposed to be as you can see but if you are trying to look it on the symbols that you have like if I'm trying to look at code unit 80 right and I'm reviewing this code right now and I want to see what this means it you might think that this is not working at this point but you need to understand the concept this is a symbol this is not an object in your extension so the behavior will remain same as it was in the past because even when I'm doing this, I cannot see what a sales header meant, right? Because it's a symbol, it's not an object in your extension. If you have to kind of see what the values are here, like you, we were able to see here, then you might want to open the source code of your base application and you'll be able to see it. So for the time being, if you have to do it on symbols and you'll watch this video and tomorrow you are trying this and you say sorry I was incorrect on that you still have to go and search for it or maybe I'm not even sure that I can I go to definition let me see yes I can go to definition so we need to understand that these are symbols and if you look at it I just clicked it here and it actually opened a separate object or a, a, a separate symbol of the similar object to show me where the detail of this label is but I'll be surprised if Microsoft can do it man you know never say never they might be able to uh, be able to provide the same feature in while you are exploring symbols of dependent apps that can be an app from Microsoft and ISV and all but as of today because it's the object that you're looking at is a snapshot from the symbols that has been downloaded when you did download symbols so it is not an object and I would not expect Microsoft to build in that feature until unless they go ahead and build it on all the previously supported objects like can I see sales header here like if I define a sales header variable in my object so if I just copy it here in my object let's do that at this point I should be able to hover over it and see what the description of my sales header looks like right that will not be possible in the symbols because symbols are pointing or giving you a snapshot of the code looks like it is not your object but let's come back to the enhancement so the enhancement is that when you start utilizing the labels <laughs> Now IntelliSense will be able to tell you what the value associated with that label is. You don't have to go crazy and search for it by going to definition or searching for that in object. And this becomes relevant when you are dealing with a bigger object in your object set.
so let me know how this simple enhancement will make your life easier in the comment section and you know the drill if you like the content hit the like button if you think it's important for others hit the share button and share it on social medias and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do that and i'll come back and meet you in the next video sooner than later till then have a great day